Hey, this is Rex from Kill Devil Hill. This is Wednesday 13. This is Dad from Devil Dobby. This is Odorous from Water. You're listening to Rabbit Noise. On Rabbit Radio. Turn it up. The video for Call Me. It, oh, yeah. Pretty pretty awesome, man. And it uh, looks like you guys had a lot of fun. Whose uh, idea came up uh, to come up with uh, the puppet versions of yourselves? It, it was actually uh, um, the guy who did the video, Villa. He also, the first video he did with me was actually Follow Me. And uh, then um, he did also uh, the DVDs uh, with both Pain and Hypocrisy. And he also did... Uh, he did a lot of things. Uh, anyhow, he said, like, I know someone who, who, who's working with uh, puppets here because he, he's from Finland, you know, and mm. let's try to do it. It's, it. it's It might be expensive, but it could be fun. I'm like, oh, okay, how expensive? Well, he's like, you know, anything from this to that. I'm like, that's a big, yeah, thing. But but I you know, <laughs> always, I, I always wanted to do a little bit different, yeah, different things. You know, uh, so so it's fun, you know, to try. Sometimes it's very expensive, but, you know, uh, sometimes it's worth it, you know. And for me, it was just important to do something different, I, I felt, you know. And some people loved it, some people don't, didn't. So, I what? don't know. Nobody they didn't perfect. like it. <laughs> well, I don't well some people did. No, no, no. It's not that big percentage that didn't like it, you know. But uh, I, I thought it was really fun. It was more in, in in the band that some people had some problems also. You know? Oh. But, you know, no, no, no big fucking deal, you know. It's rock and roll. You know? <laughs> it remind man. It reminds me of uh, what's that Genesis clip? Land of Confusion. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. That's like one of my man. One of my earliest memories is seeing that on like TV, and it just brought back all these memories, man. And and that's why I like it so much. So, yeah, that's how we described the puppets that before they were making. And I was like, okay, that sounds interesting. What about the uh, the story? It's like ah, it's it's about the seventies when when all the managers are the the true uh, rock stars, and the bands are just getting whatever is left of it. <laughs> no. I'm like, okay. <laughs> As long as there's a lot of drugs and sex, and he's like, yeah, 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 no problem. <laughs> Did you get to keep it? Did you get to keep your own puppet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're here. It's crazy, man. They're, they're full-size people, you know? That's unreal. I know. Must be, it must be pretty uh, creepy to sort of look at yourself and in puppet form. Yeah, they, they, yeah, you could easily scare people with that, you know? <laughs> That's when you just go knock on the door and just go, bah. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween's coming up. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't too far. November, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. No. Good idea. Good idea. Lucky people that I don't live in a big town or whatever, you know. Otherwise, I would scare the shit out of them. That's half the fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, you've got quite a bit, an impressive list of guest appearances. And uh, is there a band that you'd love to work with that you haven't had the chance to as yet? Well, it, it all depends how high you want to set the uh, the bars, you know. Uh, I mean, of course, everybody would like to, to uh, work with uh, a lot of famous people and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. I mean, back of my, uh, just uh, in my head right now, nothing that I can come up with. It doesn't mean that I've done everything I want, but it, it just means, like, I think it's not that important. You know, those things happens just... Uh, really fast decisions you know like you're sitting and just going hmm, maybe he should do this or he should do that and then i'll try to call him and see what happens you know you, you know you get these crazy ideas sometimes you know most of the time they do work off work out yeah so far i mean uh on this album i didn't want to do like a, a mix of all kinds of people i i mainly wanted to do everything myself but i i wanted a revenge on on um on Joachim from Sabaton since they made me sing in Swedish on Carolla's Rex, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but that came out awesome, and uh, I mean, you've you've known those guys for years. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're 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 good friends, you know. That's awesome, man. Well, uh, I, I actually met you briefly last year when you were here on a promo tour for uh, Lindemann in uh, a little bar in Brisbane called Sabotage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh and yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looked like uh, you guys were uh, just here very briefly and uh, out again. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were there for like four days, I think. We flew in in the afternoon, I think. In the next morning, the the promo started, and then 
day after that in the morning we flew to the next uh, i don't know if it was to sydney or where, where we were going so i mean overall three cities four days i think or maximum five days so we were pretty uh fried after that trip you know <laughs> first you sit on, on the plane for like i don't know 18 hours or 20 hours of what the trip took you know and then you just go intensive with the interviews and and uh yeah so the problem is you didn't really have a chance to see a beautiful country you know i, I mean I, I saw a little bit but that that's nothing compared to you know what it is you know of course so i really want to come back again have you been here prior to that no never that was the you first time almost did um with hypocrisy right yeah there was some some numb nut that uh, wanted to book us and since we don't have any contacts in down there so it was just like oh great finally we can go you know and uh, it turned out to be not so good i guess the the guy didn't know what he was doing i guess funny story man i got caught up in that on the other end of that uh my band was uh meant to be opening for you guys in brisbane and uh we we spent a bunch of money on promo and and a lot and then the uh the guy just packed up i can't remember his name but uh yeah, <laughs> he's a bit dodgy, man. So I'm sorry you yeah. guys got the raw end of that. I know, and, and the the Nightwish people were uh, down there, and they said like, "Hey, if you fly in now without a working visa and stuff, they're there to to catch you," mm-hmm. because of some other promoters kind of set up, you know, for us to go in a trap. So it was really a fucked up situation, you know. Uh, it's yeah, it was it was it was really. A, a bummer for a lot of people because a lot of fans wanted to see you. And, of course, for you guys, I'm sure you guys were hell keen to get down here and play. Yeah, we were stoked as hell, you know. First time to go to Australia and play, you know. We were like, all right. But I, I really hope someone will bring us there, you know, as soon as possible. I, I don't care if it's with, with pain or with hypocrisy or whatever. I just want to go there again. I don't mind at all flying for hours and hours, you know. I have no problem with that. Talk about hypocrisy. Have you got uh, have you got any plans for a new album or anything else? Obviously, promo new paint album, but uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, of course, there's always a plan. Uh, I don't have a, a, a time or a date, you know, when we're gonna start or or a year even, you know. Uh, I know it's gonna happen again for sure, you know, because you know uh, hypocrisy is definitely not over, you know. It's just like. Yeah, sometimes you need a break from things and other things comes up, you know, and yeah, so, so, so it's, uh, been on the, I mean, it was 2013, I think we released the album, right? Or 12? I keep it. See me, <laughs> I don't even know anymore because the last five years has just been a roller coaster, you know? So, I mean, uh, but it, it will come when it's ready. I, I think, you know, it's nothing that I, I don't want to stress about, you know, I don't, I want to, release a good album with hypocrisy when it's time, you know? Oh, of course, man. But, uh, you know, I don't know how you do it, man. Like, looking at your, your resume and everything you've done and everything that you're working on, I mean, it must be hard for you to just take a holiday. It seems insane how much you, you do as a musician as, and, you know, obviously you're a dad as well. I mean, I've got so much respect. Uh, how the hell do you do it? How do you balance that out? I don't know. I, I mean... I've been fortunate to to uh, work with music, you know, uh, you know, uh, feeding myself <laughs> with food and paying rent since '93, I think, you know, mm. uh, and mainly, you know, working in the studio uh, that really, yeah, got the food on the table, so to say, you know, and uh, so therefore, you know, it's I guess it's easier to um, to concentrate on it, you know, and uh, I always. My goals, I always set very high, even if I don't make it halfway, you know, I, I do my best to try to get my goals. And, uh, for me, you know, the, the, one of the goals is like always to write the perfect album. It's like a surfer. He wants to surf the perfect wave, you know. I don't know, man. I guess from your point of view, do you think you've gotten close? Or do you still think no. it's, it's in there? I haven't even started yet. It feels yeah. like sometimes, you know. <laughs> but you know, I'm trying and I'm trying, you know, and I'll I'll, I'll be damned if I, it won't happen, you know. See, so that's awesome, man. It's awesome that you know you've you've done so much, but you still you're still passionate about it, and that's yeah, that's inspiring for so many people. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're right with your 
with your heart and your brain, you know, and not trying to, you know, write to to have success. Then, I mean, as soon as you write to have success, I think you lost it a little bit, you know, and then you're in trouble. I think you have to go with your heart and your ears, you know, because, I mean, what I'm just writing what I would like to hear, you know, and I, I try to trust myself, you know, that that's, you know, you have to start being honest to yourself what you want to hear and what you want to do, you know. I, I think that that's a good start for the, for your career. Man, thank you so much for taking the time to, to chat to us on the show, man. It, it really means a lot, and I really hope to see you guys down here, either, uh, as we said before, with yeah. pain, fingers crossed, definitely, and yes, uh, hypocrisy. Man, come yeah. down. Yes, yeah, definitely. Awesome, definitely, man. man. I do totally do my best. It's going to be the next mission in my life to get down there and play a little bit, you know? Oh, man, we'll, we'll have some beers ready for you, bro. All right. That sounds good. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, uh, yeah, thanks again, dude, and I hope you have a good night, man. Yeah, you too. Thank you very much, man, and uh, hopefully see you soon.